Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to take a quick look at the Just Boom Amp Zero. This is a 40 watt amplifier hat for your Raspberry Pi Zero or your Raspberry Pi Zero W. It provides up to 192 kilohertz at 32 bit digital to analog conversion. I don't have any high end expensive speakers to test with this, so I actually went to my local thrift shop and picked these up for four bucks, $2 a piece. They should sound pretty good. So here's what the Just Boom amp kit comes with. It comes with a few stickers, a user manual, the amp itself, and some hardware for mounting the amp to the top of your Raspberry Pi Zero. Also comes with an IR reader that you can solder onto the board if you have their Just Boom remote. We'll take a closer look at the amp itself. We have a barrel jack that supports up to 15 volts input. Now you need a good power supply for this. I'm actually using a 12 volt, 36 watt power supply and I think it's plenty for this little board. When you strap this onto the Pi Zero, that will power the Pi Zero itself, so you don't need an extra micro USB cable to power the Pi. You will need to solder a GPIO header onto your Raspberry Pi Zero if you haven't done so already. It's pretty easy to do. As you can see, it's the exact same size as the Pi itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook this up. If you guys want more information on this board, I'm gonna leave a link down below to the Just Boom website. They offer one for the Pi Zero and the Pi 3. I chose the Pi Zero because it's a cheaper board. All you have to do is slide it on top of the GPIO pins, screw it down. We'll have four screws on the top and four screws on the bottom with some spacers that come with the amp itself. Here's a side view. Now we won't need to access any of these other ports except for the speaker outputs and the barrel jack on the amp itself. Everything's gonna be controlled from a browser interface, either using your iPhone, your Android device, your Windows, your Mac, or your Linux machine. They offer tons of step-by-step -step setup tutorials on their website for different operating systems. And this thing supports a lot of operating systems. So here's the interface I'm using. I chose the Just Boom version of their software. This is the same thing as Volumeo, but you can use all types of operating systems. I wanted this strictly as a music slash audiobook player. You're just gonna flash the image to an SD card, put it in the Pi with a hat attached to it. It'll create its own hotspot, connect from any browser to the hotspot itself, set up your Wi-Fi, it'll automatically reboot, and you're good to go. So I've connected with my IP address, but you can also use just boom slash local, and it'll take you here. I'll go to browse. I have a few plugins installed, Spotify and YouTube. Now, a lot of this music I can't play in my videos, so I put some on an internal drive. Go to My Music, Internal. This is directly from the SD card. You can load this over network, very easy to do. Settings, playback options. When you set it up, you'll need to turn I2S DAC on, and you'll have to choose your board here. So. They have a lot of options, but I'm using the Just Boom amp. It'll automatically reboot for you and start playing over the amp. This little amp sounds really good and it's very loud. I'm surprised at how loud it does go without distorting so much. It has a lot to do with the speakers you're gonna choose to use. I'm using cheap old paper speakers. They sound good enough for me, but if you want something high-end, you'll need some high-end speakers. Lots of options in here, DSD over PCM, and I've left everything stock for this video. I'm using the hardware mixer. You can go to software or none. Max volume level, you can set this lower if you want. Leave mine on 100. One click volume steps, set mine to 10. I mean, this thing is really cool. Audio resampling, you can turn this on or off. There are also plugins that you can download. I have Spotify and YouTube right now. For some reason, I cannot get Spotify to play, but YouTube works great. So I love this setup. It sounds great with the speakers I have. Maybe later on down the road, I can find something more high end and hook them up. For now, the music sounds amazing and I have low quality file. This is a lossless sound system. So if you have some really good audio files, it'll play them for you. I've been using it for music and mostly audiobooks right now because I don't have a big music collection, but I'm building it as I go and I'm definitely gonna be adding it here. 
it's definitely worth the money. It's about 30 bucks. You're gonna spend $10 on a Pi Zero, then you'll need a power supply. I got mine for about $3 at my local thrift shop. 12 volts, 36 watts, sounds great. I'm gonna leave you with a sound clip here. It's not gonna come through the microphone at super high quality, but I want to show you guys that this is working. If you guys could, hit that like button and subscribe. And like always, thanks for watching.